Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manu. And wow, look at all of you. This is, this is an awesome experience. Fantastic. My name is Murli Krishnan, and I run operations for Xiaomi in India. And today, I'm here to talk about something that's very, very special to all Mi fans, which is MIUI, Xiaomi's own custom Android experience. But first, some really interesting numbers. Did you know that there are 80 million monthly active users on MIUI? 80 million, 8 crore Mi fans using MIUI any given month. And if that's not an awesome enough number, did you know that that 80 million number accounts for 20% of all internet users in India in any given month? One in five internet users is using MIUI in India, and that is truly awesome. MIUI has had a long legacy. We've been at it for about four or five years now, starting version 7. We've been customizing, at adding many features that are relevant to Indian users. And we have the last version, version, which is MIUI 10. And today, it is my privilege to introduce the next evolution of MIUI in India. Thank you. MIUI 11. I'll talk about what it has in store for you in terms of design what it has in store for you to make your work life more productive, and what it has in store for you to make your daily life, your personal life, a lot more easier, a lot more exciting. Let's talk about design first. In MIUI 11, we have taken a huge, big step forward in cleaning up many of the elements of the UI to ensure that the content and the features are the heroes. We've removed and eliminated and polished a whole lot of colors to give this entire look to, and make it look like a lot more organic, a lot more natural. And with all of these changes, MIUI is designed clearly to be the ultimate full screen experience. But that's not all. With the increasing popularity of dark mode, trust me, MIUI 11 looks even better on the dark side. Thank you. The next aspect, aspect of MIUI that I want to talk about is, is that it's always on. Always on for the always on generation. Isn't it a little bit unfortunate that all phones pretty much look the same when they are locked? All phones, they look the same when they're locked. It's just a black screen. With the Redmi K20 series, we did something interesting. We added clock styles to make that phone look a little bit exciting. With MIUI 11, we're taking that one step further. We are adding a nice, beautiful, animated, dynamic clock on your lock screen with MIUI 11. <clears throat> but that's not all. We said there's perhaps more that we can do. And for that, we dug deep into our childhood for inspiration. Remember these, the kaleidoscopes? We took exactly this for inspiration and we put this wonderful, beautiful, symmetric patterns onto your lock screen and it actually makes it blossom and it looks beautiful. And you can customize this and have multiple patterns adorning your lock screen. But there are those who want it even more personalized. We said, sure, let's satisfy them too. With MIUI 11, you can add your own custom code, your motivational message, pretty much whatever you want and add it to your lock screen. And my personal favorite will always be, know me without you. Thank you. So there you have it. MIUI, always on, for the always on generation, just the way you want it. Moving on, we've also reimagined the notification light. And you do realize that uh, a lot of high-end phones of late have done away with the notification light. But our Mi fans, our Mi users, have given us feedback that they truly like it, they appreciate it, it serves a functional purpose. So with the Redmi K20 series, we introduced it, but we introduced it in a very innovative way because it's a full screen, there is no space for a notification light. We put it on the top where the pop-up camera is and people said, yeah, that's nice, that's cool. But there was still scope to make this even more exciting. So with MIUI 11, we've made the entire screen breathe and come alive for notifications. And this is, this is clearly amongst the most beautiful, aesthetically the most pleasing things that I have seen in MIUI 11. 
Moving on from the lock screen, let's come to the wallpaper carousel. This is something that we have done in partnership with the team at Glance, where we have a different image adorning your lock screen every time you light it. Typically, your lock screen has the same image every time, which perhaps is not the best in terms of personalization. So what we have done in partnership with the Glance team is to add the ability to have a different image appear on your lock screen. It is curated. You can set your preferences on what kind of images that you'd want to see. Want to see. Some people might want cars. Some people might, might want actors. Some people might want sports. So you can choose the preferences, and every time a different image appears. Did you know that the average user lights up their phone? I'm not saying unlock, but just lights up the phone 200 times a day. So which effectively means that 200 times you would see a different image of where you have set the preference adorning your lock screen, and that is super cool. We've been testing this for about a few months now, and today we have over 2 billion images being served on various lock screens for our users' preferences, and that number is growing by leaps and bounds. Thank you. Moving on from the lock screen, the next big aspect of personalization is the desktop. It's the wallpaper. And a lot of you know that MIUI has an extremely popular Themes app. This Themes app has a collection of over 1 lakh desktop wallpapers for the smartphone, which perhaps makes it amongst the largest collection of, sm of smartphone wallpapers in India. Of course, these are static wallpapers. What if you could add a little bit of excitement to it? So we've done just that with dynamic wallpapers for MIUI. This is good, but it's not enough. What if you could take this to the next level and make this the ultimate personalization tool, the ultimate expression of your personality? With MIUI 11, we have introduced dynamic video wallpapers. You can take pretty much any video that you want. Thank you. You can take pretty much any video that you want. It could be a, your, 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 your family members, it could be a friend, it could be a child, it could be a pet, it could be a significant live event. You pick up that video, set it as the video wallpaper, Every time you unlock your phone and get to your desktop, you have that video playing. For me, that is super ultimate feature in terms of personalization. So there you have it in terms of design. Clean, neat, minimal, sleek design. Always on for the always on generation. The wallpaper carousel and the video wallpaper. All of this makes MIUI the ultimate visual experience. Moving on. We sold over 100 million smartphones over the last five years, and a lot of our users, a lot of our Mi fans, quite obviously use their phones in work situations. And therefore, we put on our thinking hat and tried to figure what else can we do to make their work life more productive. And the first part that I want to talk about is documents. We deal with them all the time, more specifically in work situations. You already know that we have a super popular file manager integrated into MIUI, where all the files of different file types are consolidated into one single app, and you can kind of look at them, copy them, move them, delete them, do everything. But the one consistent feedback that we have received on this is that it's very difficult to find the file that you want by typing the file name. It's super difficult, and we appreciate that. We understood it. So we said, if that's the feedback, we need to solve for it, and we did by having thumbnails of various files in the file manager neatly categorized by file types. If you look at the tabs in the top, you have all PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, very, very neatly categorized and super easy to find, just as you would on your Windows or Mac laptops. But that's not all. In a work situation or in any situation, if you have taken the trouble of launching the file manager and finding the file that you want, you'd obviously want to view it. Typically, what happens is if it's a Word document, then when you click on that icon, it opens Microsoft Word on your phone, and then the other app has to launch. That's obviously a productivity drain. We said, sure, let's solve for that. With MIUI 11's file manager, 
you can preview any document within the comfort of the file manager without any additional app. And that's super efficient, that's super productive, that's super cool. Thank you. <clears throat> and this uh, document viewer can support a multitude of file formats, be it PDF, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, a whole multitude of, of file formats are supported. You get the thumbnails, you click on them, you open, and boom, your work gets done. <clears throat> the next big uh, part of feedback that you've received on MIUI is that, hey, you guys don't make it easy for me to manage my task list. You guys don't make it easy for, for me to manage my to-do list, and hence I'm forced to use another third-party app. We took that feedback to heart. We have solved it. With MIUI 11, you have the ability to manage your tasks better with the tasks functionality integrated into the Notes app. You can now add various tasks. You can add a due date to them. It gets automatically synchronized with your calendar and makes your entire work life a lot more productive and you're able to focus on the things that need to get done right now. But that's not all. There are various moments when you think of something that needs to get done and you don't have, uh, you don't have the time to open the keyboard and type and so on. Very simple. You just have to swipe right from the top. You have the universal entry into the to-do list. You have the entire to-do list appearing there. You add your tasks, you add your due dates, and boom, your work gets done. But that's not all. Just solving for universal entry isn't going to be enough. There are times when you don't have the time to type. And hence, with tasks, we have, we have added the ability to add voice tasks, where you can just record a voice, and the rest of it gets done as per the normal workflow of the task and to-do app. So that's how we are, we are enabling you to get stuff done a lot more efficiently. Moving on to another feature that's very, very popular amongst me fans, which is the calculator. And we've put in some additional effort into making it more easier to use. And let me talk about a very interesting use case. Let's say you've been traveling to some place, and typically what you do, you record all your expenses, maybe in a Word document, in a text document, in your notes app, wherever it is. And at the end of the trip, you need to sum up exactly how much you have spent. That's a use case all of us have been through. Currently, when you toggle between the calculator and the notes app to keep checking the values and typing it into the calculator, that's super painful. We've solved this by introducing a floating calculator which appears as a picture-in-picture -picture on top of any app. It could be the notes app, it could be a Word document, it could be a PowerPoint deck, it could be anything. <laughs> we just make it so easy to complete your calculations, and this is extremely natural in, in terms of a use case, and it's coming to you with MIUI 11. And that's not all. The powerful MIUI calculator has eight different calculators built in. You can calculate your age in case you wanted a calculator to do that. You can calculate the number of days left for your next birthday, your EMIs, your body mass index, splitting the bill, eight different functionalities, all built into our calculator. And all of these put together, will make your work life a lot more productive. But what do we have in store for you to make your personal life easier, to make your daily life easier? The first one that we have introduced is the step tracker. We've realized with increasing focus on health and physical well-being, a lot of users track their daily activity as to the number of steps that they have, they have traveled, etc., the number of calories that they have burned. And we've also realized that most people typically carry their smartphone with them throughout the day, unless you're sleeping. So we've built in a step tracker straight into MIUI 11. This would enable you to track the number of steps, the total distance traveled, the total calories, as well as whether you've met your step tracking goal for the day or not, and you have all the data trends for you to track whether you're becoming healthier and more active. And all of this is easily accessible by swiping right from the home screen in your app world. That's the step tracker in MIUI 11. For our women users, we've added the ability to track your periods, to track your menstrual cycles. No more trying to remember when the next due dates are. It gets automatically synced into your calculator, uh, into your calendar, and you know exactly what your dates are. All of this built in into MIUI 11. 
But the one feature that all of us are really excited about is this, quick replies. And let's talk about a use case again. Let's say you're watching a video, right? And it's, and it's really an engaging video, and you receive an incoming call. Of course, the one question is whether you need to answer the call or not, but if it's from the boss, you better answer the call. And when you do take the call, you can take the call without exiting the video. Now, this could be a video, this could be a game, this could be anything that you're doing. You can continue watching that video while taking the call, which makes it really cool in terms of multitasking. But it's not just with calling that this works. Thank you. But it's not just calling that this works. The more common use case is when I'm watching a video and I receive a message. Typically, what happens when you click on the notification, you exit that video, you exit the game, and you land up on that messaging app, and the entire flow is lost, right? Super painful if you're playing a game. Not anymore. With the MIUI Quick Replies feature, I'm playing a game or watching a video, I receive the notification, it opens a window, a small picture-in-picture -picture with your messaging app. You can look at the message, you can respond to it, you can do pretty much whatever you want to without exiting the video or the game or whatever it is that you're doing, which truly makes this the ultimate in terms of multitasking. And the best part of the quick replies feature is that you can choose on which specific app this functionality needs to work. Maybe you're someone who loves social media, you're into videos, and so on and so forth. You can say it's only on videos that, need, that, needs, that this needs to work, not on some other app that you use more for work scenarios. So a quick recap of what MIUI has in store for you. A clean, sleek, elegant, minimalistic design. A wonderful array of features to make your work life more productive. And well thought through features to make your personal life more exciting. But that's not all that we have in MIUI. There are many more features which, given the constraints of time, I am unable to cover today. Please stay tuned to our social media channels. We'll continue introducing each of these features over the subsequent days and weeks, and I'm sure you'll love pretty much all of them. So that was MIUI, but I'm not done yet. I have one more super cool thing to talk about, and this pertains to languages. India, as you know, is, is a land of a multitude of languages, and each one of us at any point of time probably knows two, three languages and converses in, in all of them. However, when it comes to the internet, for various reasons, it's predominantly English-based. The thought that came to us is a lot of us think in our native language. I, for one, think in Tamil. Um, and it's a lot more easier to converse and communicate in your native language, especially when you need to express an emotion. We said this needs a solution. So for the first time anywhere in the world, Xiaomi is launching a keyboard called Mint Keyboard. And we have done this in partnership with the super cool guys from the startup called Bobble, uh, Bobble which is based here very much in Delhi NCR. Now, the Mint Keyboard supports English and 25 Indic languages. While the Mint Keyboard has all the bells and whistles of a regular keyboard, stuff like fonts, stuff like GIFs and stickers and swipe typing and so on, but there are two features that we are truly excited about. The first one of this is translation within transliteration. And let's talk about a use case. I'm trying to chat with my dad, and um, I'm typing in English, and I'm trying to tell him, very good news, Papa. Right? So, if you notice, the typing is happening in English. The Mint keyboard is configured to automatically not just transliterate it, but also translate that into Hindi, and it says, Bahut acha samachar, Papa, thanks. And it also provides alternate suggestions in Hindi as well as English, and that makes it a super cool feature. Imagine the opportunities of clean, crisp communication this opens up across generations courtesy this translation within transliteration feature in MIUI 11. And the other one, I think that deserves a bigger clap, guys. Thank you. 
The other cool feature is, uh, look, no communication on the internet, especially on social media, is complete without an emoji to go with it. With the Mint keyboard, we have built in the capability for real-time emoji suggestions that work not just with English, but also Hinglish. In this case, it says, Bhas bhai, padai karni hai. And with padai, you're automatically seeing books being shown as the emoji. So with this real-time emoji suggestions for Indic languages, and this works with Hindi too, the Mint keyboard will suggest exactly the emo emoji that you want to express your emotion in that moment. The Mint keyboard is currently available on the Google Play Store as well as on the Me Get Apps Store. So there you have it. That's MIUI 11 where life gets easier. But I'm sure there's one question that's still on top of your minds, which is the dates. What is the rollout timetable? The MIUI 11 rollout will start pretty much now in six days, starting the 22nd of October with with the super popular POCO F1, K20, and a few of the other models that we have launched recently, and there'd be a staggered rollout going all the way up to December. However, we see a new phone out there that we haven't launched yet, uh, the Redmi Note 8 Pro. But I know someone who can tell you a lot about that new phone. I'd like to welcome on stage the Uber gamer, Anuj Sharma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Murli. Wow, I can't wait for these days. I go one, two, I think most of my devices are covered. Anyways, uh, I'm Anuj, and I lead the marketing at Xiaomi India. But before I get started on this section, here's an interesting data bit. I don't know if you guys re realize this. Murli's name initials are MKB. And you were seeing him in HD. <laughs> All right. So moving from a really, really poor joke to an awesome series, I want to talk about the Redmi Note series. Now, Redmi Note. The Redmi Note has been the flagship holder of our philosophy, which is innovation for all. Time and again, we brought in 